Hello, beautiful humans. It's Audrea Firestone, speaker, author, coach, and I'm coming to you today because I have, as I go through this journey where I keep learning, it seems to never stop. Um, there's something that I am learning to honor, and it's called simply acknowledging your feelings. I don't know how many of you have ever been in a position where you were taught not to acknowledge your feelings. You were taught that what you feel really didn't matter and that no matter what you thought or what you wanted was unimportant. So I'm going to read you just a bit of each chapter is only one page anyway. This is from my book, You Are the Artist of Your Life. And this is chapter 22, and it is titled simply Acknowledging Your Feelings. I was taught that my feelings, my thoughts were unimportant. I was taught anything I wanted was selfish. Does that ring any bells with you? Anything you wanted is selfish. You're just being selfish. For the longest time, I never knew what I felt. I had suppressed my feelings completely and become an expert at filtering everything through my intellect. Can I see a show of hands? <laughs> and that when I was starting to feel something that was overwhelming in my heart, I immediately put it up here and started figuring out what to do instead of feeling what to do. So a lot of times your actions that stem from your heart and your vagus nerve, instead you place it in your intellect. The intellect should merely be a tool, an engine that can complete what the heart, the intuition, the magical spark of you. The brain should be the servant to try to complete that. But instead, those of us, especially who were taught that anything we felt, anything we thought was unimportant, well, we start putting it up in our intellect. It's kind of safer space that you don't go, ow, so much. Okay. It was very difficult for me to acknowledge my feelings. I had to get help. It was a process and it was a long one. If you have been pushing down your feelings for most of your life, you're not going to be able to uncover them instantly. Give yourself all the time you need. Time is infinite. You may be horrified to find you are filled with fury, pain, and negative emotions. That's okay. You need to process all of that, and you will. I assure you, get to the other side. You will get to the other side. There's no question. When that happens, your perspective will change and your view of life as well. Debbie Ford's book, The Dark Side of the Light Chasers. This is a wonderful book. This is a wonderful book. I recommend it highly. Debbie Ford's book, The Dark Side of the Light Chasers, is perfect for beginners to unearth all of those buried feelings. Anything that is unacknowledged in us will control us unconsciously. That. Think about that. Anything that is un unacknowledged in us, that we haven't dragged it out into the sunlight to heal it, is going to continue to un control us subconsciously. So I found just one line in here that I want to share with you today. Other people mirror back our hidden emotions and feelings, which allows us to recognize and reclaim them. Listen to this one more time. Other people mirror back our hidden emotions and feelings, which allow us to recognize and reclaim them. So. For all of my being the wise, wild woman, 
within that container of wise wild woman, there's a not so wise little girl. And when I get my feelings hurt, when I open my heart in love and in giving, and I am met with, no, I don't think so. You're too intense. <laughs> you're too much. You're too sensitive. This is the same old song. You've heard me sing that song before, right? So what I say to you is every opportunity, no matter how unpleasant and how uncomfortable it is, pay attention to the fact that something is being brought up that you need to pay attention to. Take the first step and take the initiative in saying, I acknowledge my feelings. This is exactly how I feel. I feel miserable. I am so upset. And that's okay. To be miserable, to be sad, to feel rejected, it's okay. But why? Do we feel that way and we don't allow ourselves the time to settle into what we're feeling because we're used to pushing those feelings down and we put it up in the brain and the brain goes to work. The brain says, oh my God, this is terrible. Let's do something about this right now. And oftentimes it will simply make the situation worse. So I wanted to share this with you because I told you, I'm going to keep telling you and sharing with you the walking my talk, going through whatever I'm going through, because I feel like I'm growing so fast. My perceptions are changing so fast that I, I can barely keep pace. So I figure if I take time to share it with you, there might be something I say that helps your perception shift so that you see how miraculous you really are. That you see that by acknowledging and respecting your feelings and who you are and straight from your heart, respecting even your fear and saying thank you. All of these things will lead to the opening of every precious bit of you. Don't give up. Acknowledge your feelings. Allow this marvelous intact, intellect to be the, the servant leader. The leader that says, I know how to do this, but I'll wait for you to give me a signal. I'm not going to jump in and maybe ruin everything. The impatient little children inside of all of us are still crying out, yeah, but I want, yeah, but I want. Well, let's have the serenity somewhere to say maybe, maybe this isn't in my time. Maybe this is in God's time. I surrender. I surrender. Does this make me nervous? Whew. Oh, goodness, yes. But the only thing that I have promised myself is everything that I feel. I'm going to walk straight into it. I'm not going to circumnavigate. <laughs> I'm not trying to get around it. I'm going straight through it. I invite you to do that with me. I invite you to do that for yourself. Because when we meet our fragile selves, our vulnerable selves, we will understand the magnificence of who we are. That's all I have to say. Take this from my heart. Acknowledge your feelings. Honor and respect the little child that lurks in here. 
and that is completely impatient, but adorable and beloved. So my darlings, it's Audrea Firestone, speaker, author, coach, signing off. I've gone down a most unusual path. I don't think I've ever done this before, but uh, if you're still with me, thank you. I appreciate your time and your comments. Just warm my heart so much. I send you a world of love, and I say, I'll see you later.